Love is in the air and at sea on the new CBS romance adventure series, The Real Love Boat. Five new couples have emerged. What's next? Host Jerry O'Connell is going to fill us in on what lies ahead for the couples tonight. Jerry, good to have you here in Nashville and on Talk of the Town. And let's start number one with the theme. That's an iconic theme that everybody knows instantly. Why was it important to keep it and talk about singing it with your wife? You know, uh, when when they signed, when we signed up to host the real love boat as a joke, I wrote in a text like, and we're not doing it unless we sing that theme song. And I said that as a joke because I have zero singing experience. You know, unlike everyone who lives in Nashville, I cannot sing. And um, I mean, I, 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 I don't even know if I'd be allowed to, to live in the music city. Um, but when they said, OK, you'll be recording it at such and such a date, um, I'll, I'll just thank goodness for auto-tune. <laughs> All right, so beyond the theme, that's where the similarities for the most part end with this show and the original Love Boat. So talk about the premise and that the fact that this is really, at its heart, a reality show. Well, it's on right in between Survivor and Amazing Race. And, you know, it's sort of an adventure relationship series. It's a lot like Survivor and Amazing Race, except we put the element of singles who've had bad luck with love trying to find love uh, on the high seas. And um, it's really cool. Tonight is our first adventure episode, our adv ad adventure challenge episode. The newly formed couples are going to climb the rock of Gibraltar. And along the way, they're gonna have to answer questions about how, what they were like in previous relationships. And the couple that is the most honest with each other will win the challenge. And uh, spoiler alert, some of the Couples are not so honest with each other. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> so if you were a betting person, and I, I know you can't really say much about what, how this is going to end, but who are the, I guess, people we should be out on the lookout for? Couples we need to be on the, the lookout it's, for. It's, it's so funny. My wife and I, my wife Rebecca Romaine and I host the show, but really, I mean, for preparation, we have watched every reality show out there survivor amazing race real housewives of nashville um we um we're just fans of reality tv and my wife and really likes Sarah one Cito couple and, Andre Brown and i actually so I, I actually liked a completely different couple it's so funny how we liked different people it was um it was so interesting but i guess that's how we consume reality tv as well we like certain couples on Married at First Sight better than others, you know? <laughs> All right, before we let you go, uh, you've got this. This is week two or three of the, uh, of the real love boat. But daytime TV, how are you enjoying things on the talk and having two guys have a perspective on, on this type show? You know, it's really fun. I've never really had a day job where I have to come to it every day. I mean, you would know more than me, Leland. It's like when you're on a talk show every day, you have to um, come to work every day. It's like <laughs> yes. so different than being an actor where you like just roll in sort of late. And it's, uh, it's, it's a different gig, but I'm really liking it. I do want to send a message to everyone in Nashville though. I'm so sorry about all of these Southern Californians who are moving there. I I'm sure you're seeing these California plates and you're realizing how terrible we are at driving. I want to apologize <laughs> For any rudeness, any Nashvillians, what do we call people from Nashville? Nash uh, Nashvillians, Nashville yes. Nashvillians, Nashvillites, I want to apologize for any rudeness any California drivers are giving you on the roads. I'm so <laughs> sorry. All that said, I'm probably moving to Nashville in a couple of months, so please be nice if I'm your new neighbor. All right, well, come on down. When, when you're in town, come see us. We'd love to have you in studio. Others will blame the Southern Californians for raising up real I'm estate coming. prices, but that's something else. But thank sorry, you so I'm much. Sorry, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, welcome to town. Catch the Real Love Boat tonight at 8 right here on News Channel 5.